So I'm seeing a lot of content um, where the baby boomers and um, some millennials and some Gen Xers are complaining about Gen Zs tapping out and how lazy they are and so on and so forth. And I'm here to tell y'all that, and I'm speaking to you Gen Z uh, people. I am probably one of the very few people who thinks that y'all tapping out and giving up or whatever you want to call it is genius as fuck. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to berate y'all for it. I am not mad about it. I am just as happy about y'all tapping out as I am about the birth rates declining. And I'm going to tell you why. Because capitalism cannot thrive without participants. It's that simple. Like there's really no other way to put that. Racism, socialism, classism, all these things can't survive and thrive without participants. So if the next generation is giving up, if y'all want to call it that, then we're doomed. And I'm going to sit back with my popcorn, assuming that I'm still alive, and I'm going to enjoy the show. Now, I personally believe that this is Mother Nature's way of cleaning house. Um, I am also included in the house cleaning, right? So I am choosing to be a child-free woman, which means that I am purposely choosing to end generational trauma or generational curses or whatever you want to call it. I'm ending that shit with me. I'm making the conscious choice not to um, add more gasoline <clears throat> to the fire, which is what y'all are doing when you keep bringing children into a capitalistic society, particularly if you're birthing sons. I did a video about this a while ago and I say it's y'all sons that are out here destroying the planet. Now, is everybody's son, like 100% sons are out here destroying the planet? No, but it's in the 90 percentile. They're either upholding the patriarchy or they started the patriarchy, whichever one, right? So you, you either are the beginner or the, the fundamental starter of it, or you're upholding it. And most of y'all sons are upholding it. These men are unaliving themselves. And I'm not saying literally, but I'm saying milling themselves to get women to go back to the 50s or the 20s or whatever, where we couldn't vote and we couldn't have our own bank account and we couldn't survive without a man. Um, so they're moving backwards in life mentally. Like they're not even, they're not evolving and as much as you boy moms get mad about people coming for y'all, like I'm going to keep saying until the day that I unalive, y'all are adding fuel to the fire by birthing sons into a patriarchy where they're just going to grow up and repeat the same cycle and oppress women, unalive women, SA children, whatever. I'm not saying everybody's sons are going to do that, but I'm saying... The, the the main issues and problems, pretty much all of the problems in the world can be traced back to something a man did or men did. It just, it just is what it is. And then they got the rest of y'all dense dimwits actually convinced that some woman back BC or whatever uh, is the person who destroyed the earth or whatever. Eve, like y'all actually believe, y'all might as well believe that the North Pole exists where Santa Claus has a workshop. Y'all believe, people like y'all believe in Santa's workshop. I can't take you MF seriously, right? Right? Y'all actually think women are behind the world being as effed up as it is when we're the nurturers, we're the ones who give life. That's the, that's another thing. That's the only way you could blame women for anything is because she's the, y'all are the ones giving birth to these men who then turn around and grow up to take away women's rights. I'm going to keep saying that. I said that in several videos before. I'm going to keep saying it until it, comes drives home to some people right um so if you are a gen z and you're lying flat there's a lying flat movement i don't feel like getting into all of that but just look it up but these uh gen some gen z's are like i'm never gonna own a home i'm never going to uh be able to afford children i'm never gonna be fuck it you know what I'm saying? And they're just going to live their lives and they're going to spend their money on Starbucks and they're going to do whatever they're doing. And I know that to baby boomers um, who are one foot in the grave, and I'm not trying to be funny, right? I, I'm not saying that to be mean, but the one, the, 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 the baby boomers who don't get it and they think that we're all lazy and y'all are entitled and whatever else, y'all are the ones that F everything up for the rest of us. Anyway, if y'all really want to put the blame on someone, we can blame the baby boomer generation. 
but I'm not going to do that because I don't think every, every baby boomer is, a, a, a you know, every single one of them were not, you know, the culprits, I would say, but there was, that's the generation that screwed everything up in my opinion, as far as I'm concerned. So I don't care what y'all got to say. I don't care what, um, Gen Xers have to say either. Um, and some millennials, like we, some of us are like, listen, the gen, the gen Xers or the gen Z's can do whatever the hell they want. If they don't want to work hard at some dead end job and put in all this extra effort for them to just turn around and fire you on a whim, even though they expect you to put a two weeks notice in, if they don't want to do that, F it. They don't have to. I back y'all. I back y'all for not wanting to, to participate in capitalism. I back y'all for not wanting to add more slaves to the system for the cap for the uh, top 1% rich people to exploit. I back y'all 100%. Um, and that's all I had to say about that. Y'all ain't gonna get no pushback from me. I ain't calling y'all lazy. I'm calling y'all smart. It's genius as fuck to me that y'all are... Because here's the thing. This system has to fall. In order for human beings were never meant to be this stressed. We this is not the way we're supposed to live. And nobody's going to voluntarily end the system. So it has to be forced, right? There, there has to be a default. And the number one way to do that is for the younger generation that's be, that's beneath us to crash the system out by not participating. It's that simple, right? Don't birth any more kids and you know, it has to come crashing down. There's not going to be enough people to sustain the system if no one's born or if no one's participating in it. So it's genius. Keep up the good work and I'll catch y'all in the next video. News flash, buddy. Everybody's dying alone. Every human on the planet will be dying alone. I hope y'all know that, right? Pink Optics, aka Whitney on TikTok, she said she's never seen bunk bed caskets before. And neither have I. They don't exist. You know why they don't exist? Because we all die alone. It doesn't matter if you have a spouse or not, or kids, or family or not, or friends. None of that matters. You came in this world by yourself, we are leaving this bitch by ourselves. I understood this concept in elementary, like probably fourth or fifth grade. And I didn't think about it anymore after that because I'm like, we all die one day and there's nothing we can do about it and we're all going to leave the way we came. Never thought about it. Fast forward to all these years now, all these men on social media are terrified of dying alone and they're projecting that onto us because we're choosing to be single and not have children, some of us, or whatever. But the fear mongering doesn't work because we all have the same faith at the end of the day at the end it doesn't matter if you're a good person or a bad person it doesn't matter if you were rich or poor it doesn't matter if you were fat or skinny it doesn't matter if you were nice or mean everybody is going to the same place when it's all over the graveyard in our own caskets and in our own holes in the ground my truck is being loaded that's it I suggest you guys get therapy, read some books, something. I don't know, something to pass y'all time. Y'all are worried about the wrong stuff out here. I don't fear death. No, I'm not saying I'm ready to die, but I don't fear it. I accept that that's what's going to happen to 100% of us. So I'm not going around saying, you're going to die alone with cats. You're going to die alone. Most of these men, y'all ain't going to die alone with nobody. Y'all ain't going to even have cats. At least we'll have cats nobody fucks with y'all the cats don't want to fuck with you the mosquitoes don't want to bite you like the dogs don't want to bite you nobody wants to deal with you animals and insects flock to women more than they flock to you unless you stink <laughs> which a lot of y'all do i'm not trying to be funny but like think about that for a second at least we'll have cats or dogs or some kind of pets I'm not understanding this argument. I mean, somebody please make me understand. <laughs>